Hey guys, Furby Queen here, and today I got three new Furbies. One, um, <laughs> I messed up. Two working, one doesn't work. And I got it from this little place called Replay Toys. They basically sell, like, old toys, used or not. And no, this is not sponsored. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Furbies. I'm going to try to fix the one that doesn't work on camera, if I can. Which I already got him halfway skinned. So... We're going to start out with the broken Furby. Here he is. He doesn't turn on. He don't move. Nothing. I believe that this guy was got new in box. And then they sent him to the replay toys. I'm not sure because he doesn't... He seems like he's got the problem that they normally have when you get him new in box. And he seems like new. And he had a little, uh... What you call it in the back? Where, where the thing where he was brought new, I guess. So I think he's got new and he don't work, so his motor's messed up. So I'm gonna try to fix him. I'm gonna do that after I show the other two Furby. Moving the camera up higher because the next Furby is a big Furby, which, you know, 2005 Furby. So this guy, uh, he works, but he does have a bit of a problem. He has a bit of a speaker problem. His speaker kind of sticks out. You can basically touch the speaker through the fur, which is very weird. I have a feeling that the casing on the tickle sensor must have broke. The casing that protects the speaker. And he doesn't shut his mouth either. The mouth does open, but the mouth doesn't shut. It's got a lot of rubber rip off. I plan, um, I plan on skinning him when I get better at fixing Furbies. I don't want to break him. But he works. <laughs> I forgot to mention he talks weird because of the speaker. But yeah, he works great. <laughs> hey, Furby! Oh. Go to sleep. Okay. Yeah, he works. Alright, now for the last Furby. I got him in the box. He came with his box, and he's the King Furby. And he works, but his motor is really slow. I feel as if he hasn't been used in a while. Uh, let me change the camera. So he does work, but his motor's a bit weird. It's a bit slow. But he works great. Yeah. Other than that. <laughs> his name's Alo. Which he's absolutely adorable. And this is my first limited edition Furby. And he is... Yeah, he's that. You like. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you me trying to fix this guy. I really like his colors. I just wish he didn't. I wish he would have worked. But that's alright. So let's get his fur up. Which I already cut the zip tie, like I said at the first hey. video. Oh, I'm sorry. Trying to get him to go to sleep. Gonna get a Furby with me sleep again to put him to sleep, I guess. So, we're gonna skin him. I hate that I have to skin him, but that's alright. He didn't put him to sleep. Oh, well. So, I hate that I have to skin him, but it's no option. So, how am I gonna get him off? Apart. Still in the list of scanning him. I just got the Furby, the King Furby, some friends to talk to, so he won't be so lonely. So, I'll get, I'll, I'll start filming again once I get him skinned. Oh, that's so cute. You're the last to go to sleep. Ignore all the batteries. <laughs> Something tells me this Furby is fake. Like, there were screws on the little, uh, clips here. Makes me assume this guy might be a fake. I'm not sure. Because, um, sorry, I'm saying um a lot, so. They said one way to get these guys to jump start them was to pull down their beaks and you'd see a little white gear over here and when i did that i didn't see a white gear 
Makes me assume that he's a fake. I'm not sure. I mean, I have took some 1998 Furbies apart before. Like, well, I only did one, but I don't ever recall seeing some weird design on the side and that. So, I don't know if he's real or not, which is very strange. I've never seen this. But yeah. So here he is. So, he's got a weird screw right here, which I... This other one don't have it. It makes me think, is he fake? Like seriously, if anyone knows the difference between a fake and a real, I'd really like to know. So before I take his casing off, I'm just gonna like put tape on the pet sensor because last time I took one apart, the pet sensor fell out and I could never get it back into place. So hopefully the tape will keep it into place. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna, I might just tape one side, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. So, I got him apart just enough to get to the part I need. Underneath this wire, uh, it's really hard to see. I might need to get my flashlight. Okay, I have switched to my phone for this. So, all right. Underneath this green resistor here, this is a little resistor, and underneath is the little motor. This is what we, this is the important component. This is what makes the Furby move. So, I stick my little screwdriver in here, sorry. I'm trying to set this up where it look where you can see it well. So you just I'm trying to do this at a good angle. You basically go in. All right, I already spinned it with my screwdriver. So let me try to set this up where you can see where I spin it around. And it's good that you spin this around. So it'll start working again, hopefully. So this motor. I hope this is a good enough angle. So this motor. You go in with your screwdriver and you spin it around. As you see, I'm spinning it around. And he should move his eyes and his beak. Make sure he has no batteries in when you're doing this. So he should be moving. Which, so it slowly moves, though. So I'm gonna do this off camera. Guess what? He's working! But his motor's really squeaky. <laughs> but... I'm gonna work with his motor a little more. I'm probably gonna oil it up. So here he is, no squeaking. He works good. Put a little WD-40 on his beak and his eyelids and his ears so he wouldn't make that dreaded squeaking anymore. So he's perfect. Now I'm gonna get his fur back on. For some odd reason, he's got me sleep again, but he works perfect now other than me sleep again. Like sometimes he'll wake up, sometimes he won't. But he works great now. I'm gonna go ahead. So his name is Donola, and so yeah. Also stitched his ears back in the place. It looks a bit ugly, but they're stitched back in the place. And so yeah, that basically concludes this video. Furby Queen out.